So question two was a transformation question. So we're given the graph of f of x and we're given a maximum point at minus three zero, a minimum point at two minus four, and the shape of it. Um, part A says what would y equals three f of x plus two look like? Uh, most of you started this off okay, so we use or we kind of follow the rules of bid mass, so we do the bracket bit first. Transformation of x plus 2 moves it 2 units in that direction. Okay, so moves it minus 2 on the x-axis. We then need the transformation of 3 lots of that. Um, so first of all, let's look what moving it 2 in the that axis does, so it moves that to there, that through there, slightly poorly drawn, but that's at, that's the minimum, that's at minus 4, 0, and then this point here is at minus 5, 0. We then need to do the transformation of 3 lots of that. Okay, What that means is that 3 on the front means multiply every y value by 3. Okay, So we're stretching it by a factor of 3 parallel to the y-axis. So our maximum point doesn't move because our y-value is 0, but our minimum point gets stretched by 3 times down to there. It would still cross at the same point. Okay, x-coordinates don't move, just y-coordinates. So this value would become minus 4 times 3, which is minus 12. Okay, let's rub that out so we can talk about the next one. So the next one we're looking at is modulus f of x, y equals modulus f of x. And we talked about this before. That means that anything which was a negative value in the original f of x, we're going to consider the modulus of it. So we're going to consider the positive value of it, the magnitude of it. Remember, we're going to kind of mirror the shape. So this maximum point becomes 2, 4. You had to label that to get a mark. Uh, the minimum point stays the same. Okay, minus 3, 0 stays the same. And this bit at the top there stays the same. So the shape must be the same. So the key points were shape, got your mark, and coordinates of 2, 4, and minus 3, 0. Okay, so what that looks like is something like that. In the first question, what the marks were for was shape, x-coordinates, so if you got those correct, and then y-coordinates. So you had to get both y for one mark, both x for one mark, and the overall shape for one mark.